What's up, basketball fans? Back with me, Rocky Padilla, and welcome back to another episode of ASEAN Basketball Discussion. Today, we're going to discuss about the bright future of Gila's front court. Yes, the future looks really bright as we're going to talk about this one young player who they say could be the secret weapon for the Gila's program in the future. Yes, we're talking about the 16 year old Sage Tolentino, who is a seven footer, and I believe he's probably still growing, man. He's only 16, but we're going to grow like two, three, four more inches in the future. He is from Marino High School, Hawaii, and I I think he just won back-to-back -back state championship as well and he made a few headlines this past few days after spending Father's Day together with the Gila's future superstar the 7 foot 2 Kai Soto who is still getting ready for the NBA G League so can you imagine the front court of Gila's with Kai Soto playing the 5 and probably Sage playing the 4 that's gonna be insane man and we cannot forget they still have the 6 foot 10 AJ Edu as well who is playing in Toledo so those three with a lot of experience of playing high level basketball in the United States playing together for the Gila's program Man, I can't imagine, man. The Gila's program is so promising right now. They have a lot of players playing in the United States. And as they are getting ready for the FIBA World Cup 2023, and we cannot forget, they still have the Kraken, uh, Junmar Fajardo, the veteran. He's probably going to play in the FIBA World Cup 2023 as well. He's still very, very dominating in the PBA. And they still have the guy. Jordan Clarkson, man. He's probably going to play for Philippines also in the FIBA World Cup 2023. So I think in FIBA World Cup, they are going to be very, very competitive. We can't forget they still have a lot of young, talented players, man. They got Kobe Paras, Terdi Rafana, Dwight Ramos. So, man, I can't wait to see how the future unfolds for this uh, Gila's program. But let's talk about Sage first. Sage, 16-year-old. Uh, a very modern big man i think he's shooting man he's a sharp shooter he can shoot it from three point it's very very sweet stroke man from three point line i think he, we can compare him a little bit to the young dirk nowitzki uh great footwork i think he can run the floor uh great defense great length uh man that's all i gotta say i think he got a chance to to make it to the nba in the future uh pretty sure uh he gonna uh, probably work with a lot of more uh, great trainers in the future so he can improve his talents and the only thing I need probably I need to see from him probably improve his strength that's it but other than that uh, the future looking very promising for the Gila's program I think SBP is working on a commitment from Sage to play for the Gila's uh, youth program I don't think that's gonna be a problem I think he's gonna play for the Gila's youth program I think that's gonna be beneficial for his game as well so guys Everybody from the Philippines, I bet, are very, very exciting about this future. Uh, no, lo, lo, I know a few more players, I think, still playing in NCAA Division One, like Remy Martin, but I'm not sure if Remy Martin is eligible to play for the national team or not. If you guys have any more information about that, you can just put it on the comment section below. But, man, the front court of Gilas, man, I think they could win the FIBA Asia one day. One day, I think, in the like five six more years i think they can win the fee by asia i think that's my hot takes for philippines basketball so guys uh that's all for today don't forget to like don't forget to comment and forget to subscribe thank you for watching i'll see you guys next video peace